Brought to you by wikivd.com Mileva Maric Mileva Maric, sometimes called Mileva Maric Einstein or Mileva Maric Einstein, was a Serbian physicist. She was the only woman among Albert Einstein's fellow students at Jurex Polytechnic and was the second woman to finish a full program of study at the Department of Mathematics and Physics. They developed a relationship and had a daughter before their marriage, Liesel, who died in 1903. After their marriage in 1903, they had two sons, Hans Albert and Eduard. They separated in 1914, with marriage taking the boys and returning to Zurich from Berlin. They divorced in 1919. That year Einstein married again, when he received the Nobel Prize in 1921. He transferred the money to Marich, chiefly to support their sons, she had access to the interest. In 1930 at about age 20, their second son Edward had a breakdown and was diagnosed with schizophrenia, with expenses mounting by the late 1930s for his institutional care. Marich sold two of the three houses she and Einstein had invested in. He made regular contributions to his son's cur, which he continued after emigrating to the United States with his second wife. Biography On December 19, 1875, Mileva Maric was born into a wealthy family in Titel in the Austro-Hungarian monarchy as the eldest of three children of Milos Maric and Marija Ruzik Maric. Shortly after her birth, her father ended his military career and took a job at the court in Ruma and later in Zagreb. She began her secondary education in 1886 at a high school for girls in Novi Sad, but changed the following year to a high school in Sremska Mitrovica. Beginning in 1890, Maric attended the Royal Serbian Grammar School in Sabak. In 1891 her father obtained special permission to enroll Maric as a private student at the all-male Royal Classical High School in Zagreb. She passed the entrance exam and entered the 10th grade in 1892. She won special permission to attend physics lectures in February 1894 and passed the final exams in September 1894. Her grades in mathematics and physics were the highest awarded. That year she fell seriously ill and decided to move to Switzerland, where on November 14 she started at the Girls High School in Zurich. In 1896, Marich passed her mature exam and started studying medicine at the University of Zurich for one semester. In the autumn of 1896, Marich switched to the Zurich Polytechnic, having passed the mathematics entrance examination with an average grade of 4.25. She enrolled for the diploma course to teach physics and mathematics in secondary schools. At the same time as Albert Einstein, she was the only woman in her group of six students and the fifth woman to enter that section, an impressive feat at a time. When women were not usually admitted, she would have had to have been extraordinarily talented to overcome the restrictions on the admission of women. She and Einstein became close friends quite soon. In October Marich went to Heidelberg to study at Heidelberg University for the winter semester 1897-98, attending physics and mathematics lectures as an auditor. She rejoined the Zurich Polytechnic in April 1898, where her studies included the following courses differential and integral calculus, descriptive and projective geometry, mechanics, theoretical physics, applied physics, experimental physics, and astronomy. She sat the intermediate diploma examinations in 1899, one year later than the other students in her group. Her grade average of 5.05 placed her fifth out of the six students taking the examinations. 
that year. Marek's grade in physics was 5.5. In 1900, she failed the final teaching diploma examinations with a grade average of 4.00. Having obtained only grades 2.5 in the mathematics component, Einstein passed the exam in fourth place with a grade average of 4.91. Passing required her grade of 4 or higher. Marek's academic career was disrupted in 1901, when she became pregnant by Einstein. When three months pregnant, she resat the diploma examination, but failed for the second time without improving her grade. She discontinued work on her diploma dissertation that she had hoped to develop into a PhD thesis under the supervision of the physics professor Heinrich Weber. She went to Norvi Sad, where her daughter was born in 1902, probably in January. The girl was referred to in correspondence between the couple as Hansel before she was born, and Liesel after. Some sources say Liesel was put up for adoption in Serbia, but others suggest she died in 1903. Role in Physics The question whether marriage contributed to Einstein's early work, and to the Annus Mirabilis papers in particular, has been the subject of some debate. A consensus among professional historians of physics is that she made no significant scientific contribution. Some academics have argued that she was a supportive companion in science, and may have helped him materially in his research. The case for Marich as a co-author of some of Einstein's early work putatively culminating in the 1905 papers, is based mostly on the following evidence, the testimony of the well-known Russian physicist Abram Joff, who gave the name of the author of the three Annus Mirabilis papers as Einstein Mariti, erroneously attributing the addition of the name Mariti, Marek's official name, to a non-existing Swiss custom. In the paragraph in question, in which Joff stated that Einstein's entrance into the arena of science in 1905 was unforgettable. He described the author of the 1905 papers as a bureaucrat at the patent office in Bern, i.e. Albert Einstein. There is no strong evidence to support the idea that Marich helped Einstein to develop his theories. The couple's first son, Hans Albert, said that when his mother married Einstein, she gave up her scientific ambitions. Einstein remained an extremely fruitful scientist well into the 1920s, producing work of the greatest importance long after separating from marriage in 1914. She, on the other hand, never published anything. Marich was never mentioned as having been involved with his work by the friends and colleagues of Einstein, who engaged in countless discussions of his ideas with him. Marich herself never claimed that she had ever played any role in Einstein's scientific work, nor hinted at such a role in personal letters to her closest friend, Helen Savage. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.